guys, I'm Tony with ESP Guitars. It's a beautiful day here in Clisson, France for Hellfest 2019. And I'm here with my good friend Josh Middleton from Architects and Silosis. Josh, how are you doing today? Very good, man. How are you? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. It's amazing, yeah. We're full force in festival season right now. You guys just at Grass Pop last night, yep. Hellfest tonight. I'm sure you're going to go on to do more later. Yep. That kind of tour is, you know, absolutely brutal on guitars because, yes. you know, you're in a different country every day, a uh, different festival, different climates. Uh, how do your guitars hold up on tour? I mean, this one in particular, which is my main, which has an Evertune bridge, yeah. uh, it's insane. It's just ready to go. I haven't changed these strings in like two weeks. I haven't played every day, so we've been doing like weekend festivals. Yeah. So it's, it's had two weeks off. But it's fine. Yeah. The strings sound great and it hasn't gone out of tune. It's perfect. So, so the Evertune really lends itself to kind of keeping, keeping things you know, yeah. stable oh, and in it's tune. It's insane. So we, we also did a tour at the start of the year with this guitar uh, all around Europe. And it was freezing cold in some places. And then in Spain it was like really hot. Yeah. So that's like completely different climates. And yeah. uh, it's been fine. Yeah. Well, an added, added advantage of the Evertune. For sure. Yeah. But all the other guitars, you know, held up really well too. This is the only one with the Evertune, and uh, yeah. it's now my go-to. Yeah, for, this, for is, this is the number one for the tour? Oh yeah, always. Oh, okay. Yeah. What else do you have with you on the tour? So my other main, which actually gets more play than this guitar in our current set, is uh, an LTD MH-401B, the baritone. Okay. And that's just because the set that we're playing, uh, there are more songs in that tuning. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes there are more songs in the G sharp tuning, which is this this guitar. So uh, yeah, the, the LTD and this one, like they're both great. You know? So just the two for the tour? Uh, those are the main ones. So okay, those gotcha. are the one. There's one more Horizon I use for one song, which is in B. Okay, gotcha. And then I've got an E2 as a backup and another Horizon backup. Oh, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. So you've played a lot of different ESP models over the years, yep. and you played LTDs and ESPs. What do you think about the, the LTD quality compared to ESP? Somebody that tours as much as you do, you have the, the 401B with you. Yeah, uh, the quality's always been great. And I, I've had comments where people think that the LTD is a custom guitar that they put the LTD logo on. <laughs> and I've, that. Maybe I've heard of that as a thing, but I've, I've never run into that in any band that I know, or any other guitar brand either. Like, the LTDs are just great. Yeah. I, I personally don't find too much difference. We were saying earlier, like yeah. in guitars, like you can tell on a guitar, like the attention to detail is like really there on like yeah. a five grand guitar, but you can get a, an LTD to play the same. You know, if you've got a, a good local tech near you, or you know what you're doing, just they're great. Yeah, yeah. And set them up, set, set the action how you want, and they they just feel the same in my hands. Yeah. So, I hear you. So, since you got this one in your hands, let's talk about this guitar a little bit. So this is your first custom yes. from ESP. Why don't you uh, talk about the design on this one a little bit and what, kind of what was your reasoning for picking what you chose with this one? Okay. So, I've always loved the shape, the MH yeah. kind of style, or Horizon. Horizon, yeah. Uh, and uh, as I was telling you uh, a few times now, I had like a, a science folder at school that had a picture of a LTD MH300. Yeah. Which was like my dream guitar when I was like 12 or in school. And, and like, I would stare at that guitar like in science lessons on my like ring binder that I like glued it on there. Love and it. it's this is like really similar. So that guitar was see-through black, MH. Uh, yeah, I mean it kind of looked like this. And then obviously the Evertune, I'd never played one before I got this guitar. Mm. And because we do a weird tuning where the guitar's in C sharp standard, but the low string goes down to a G sharp. Sometimes Whoa. the low, low string goes down to F sharp, which is like a unison thing, like mm. an octave apart. Gotcha. It's essentially like an eight string tuning. And I don't really like playing baritones because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not th that tall and it's kind of annoying to like get used to a long neck. Yeah. And the Evertune just like solves all those issues. Like, and the main thing that you still get with a baritone is you can't get things thick enough. Uh, thick enough. Yeah. And if they're too thick, they sound dull. And they just, they'll go meow and yeah, go out of yeah. tune, and that just doesn't happen with this. So it's, it's perfect for me. So yeah. even going that low on a normal 25 and a half inch scale, every tune is keeping that tuning and keeping it 100%, straight. yeah. And yeah. you can set it to like bend, so it, it still bends, yeah. but you can set it 
so it's, it, it takes just like a fraction more to bend, but it yeah. means I can dig in like that. And it, it might look like the string's like going crazy, but the tuning is the just note. there. Yeah. The, the note doesn't change, and that's essential for what we do. Wow. And then yeah. uh, the pickups, I've been with Fishman now for two or three years, and I just love them. And I especially like, uh, I, I don't have it set up in this one, that I can get like active, passive, which I can do on this one. Or maybe, I, yeah, I can. But also like uh, the coil split stuff. I have like the kill switch set in one guitar. And uh, yeah, I, I just, especially in the studio, having an active voicing, passive voicing, just being able to switch between the two is really cool. Yeah, but, the like, versatility is amazing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, Josh, thanks for taking some time to sit down with us Anytime. and talk about your guitars. Very excited to see the set later. And if anybody's in Europe for the next couple weeks, catch Architects. Josh, thanks. Thank Have you very much. Have a good one, guys.